Hey dolls! Okay, so I have some exciting news. If you don't follow me on my other social medias and stuff, um, I am getting my next two tattoos today. Um, as you guys remember, uh, I got this Marie thigh tattoo when I went to Disneyland um, last September in 2017. And the artist did such a beautiful, beautiful job. So what I did was I had her flown up here because it ended up being cheaper to have her fly up here rather than like me go back down to California again. And I really wanted my tattoos. So um, <clears throat> I had her flown up here and she is here for this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Her flight got in last night. Um, we picked her up. I got her set up in a hotel room. So I'm going to be going over there in not even an hour, like half an hour. And I'm going to go get my next two tattoos. Um, I'm going to be getting a matching one. Uh, similar to this color color palette um, on this thigh over here. I'm not going to tell you what it is just yet. And then I will also be getting one on my ribs on the side right here. So I'm not going to be telling you guys what they are just yet, um, but I am going to go ahead and let you guys pause this video and leave your guesses in the comments. The only hint that I'll give is the one on my thigh is another Disney character of some sort. Or it's from a Disney movie of some sort. So leave your guesses in the comments down below if you don't know already. And also what my side piece is going to be, my little piece on my ribs. Um, I'm so excited. I cannot wait. I have been wanting to get the one on my ribs forever. Forever, forever, forever. So, um... Yes, I, I, and I do plan to vlog, obviously, that's why I'm vlogging right now. Uh, my fiancé is going with me, so he can kind of control the camera and stuff, so I'll be able to vlog a little bit more than when I got my Marie tattoo. If you guys want to know about the healing process, the pain level, as far as my thigh tattoo goes, I have a full video all about my Marie one. <clears throat> and I will leave that on the screen right here if you click that little eye icon. Um, I'll also leave the link in the description box below, but you can go watch that video. It's full in-depth if you've ever been curious as to what to bring to a tattoo appointment, what to expect at a tattoo appointment, um, pain level, uh, how long it took, all of that stuff you can find in that video. I'm not going to touch too much on it in this video, um, but I will touch a little bit on it in a separate video about my ribs because that is is kind of a different feel and a different experience if you guys would like to see a different video. I don't want to put out extra content if it's like kind of pointless because you know people aren't really interested in it. So let me know if you would be interested in seeing a separate video talking about the rib tattoo when I get it. I'm gonna go ahead and go and we are going to go get some tattoos!
all done. Yay. You can say hi. Hi, viewers. Mom got her eyebrows done yesterday. Hi, dolls. Aren't I beautiful? <laughs> So we're doing my rib piece in my room because checkout was at 11 and our flight doesn't leave till 6 so we have time to kill. Do you have anything to say babe? Hi. <laughs> happy right. Mother's Day to all those mothers out there. Yes, happy Mother's Day. Um, here's what my leading the tramp one looks like right now. It's overnight. Getting the sanitarium changed out right now but Hopefully it'll look a little less ugly in a couple of minutes. <laughs> the one who's oh, it's so is so sludgy. Yeah. It's so gross. I even like, before I taped it all off last night, I even drained it a little bit from the top. And it's still super nasty. <laughs> Um, there I we go. Good as new. Well, we just got back from dropping Sanai off at the airport. She's only here for a couple days. She has to go back home now. But it is Sanai underscore Kauai on Instagram. I will leave the name right here on the screen as if, um, and in the description box if you guys haven't seen it already. But um, I did have her flown up here because I wanted a matching Lady and the Tramp to go on the opposite leg of my Marie. So the, this lighting is terrible right now. Okay, let's see if I can get this kind of focused on my leg here. It looks a little whack today. Today is day two for this one. I got this one done Saturday. And then I got my side piece that I'll show you in a second done today, like a few minutes ago. It got finished. So, well, right before we took her um, to the airport. But it's a little weeby still, but it looks so beautiful. She did such a good job. You can see that the heart cameo and everything else is like the same color scheme except for the two little characters this one is i don't think you're going to be able to tell on camera maybe i don't know this one is a little bit bigger than this one but that's just simply for the fact that this one has two characters in it and this one only has one so they're not perfectly symmetrical but it's kind of like eyebrows you know they're sisters not twins so it's okay that one is bigger than the other. I'm just happy that now when I pose for pictures, 
each side will look absolutely adorable so um, this one has healed up you can see this is kind of what it looks like healed and again I'm not going to touch too much on the healing process because I talked all about that in my other video so if you want to know how I heal it what the Saniderm is how you're supposed to use it all of that stuff will be um, either in mentioned in my Marie tattoo vlog which I'll link below or the actual entire tattoo advice um, experience type video which I will also leave linked down below now my second piece oh my goodness um, my second piece this has been a long time coming you guys this I want to call it my YouTube tattoo because it is literally my heart my soul my everything I have not wanted a tattoo more other than my back piece, which I don't have yet, than this one. Um, this is my ultimate dream tattoo right here that I have been trying to figure out how I wanted to get it done for so long. And I finally figured it out and I'm so, so pleased with it. So I've been wanting to get my quote, the so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you on my body somewhere because that like... I created it, it speaks to me, I live by it every single day of my life, I preach it on all of my platforms, and it just literally means so, so, so much to me. So, I really wanted to get it tattooed on my body. Um, but I didn't know how I wanted it tattooed, and I figured that just like normal writing, kind of like on my arm or on my leg or something would just look too basic. I didn't want something basic. I wanted something cutesy and fun and girly. It says stay true, be you. So I wanted it to be me and represent who I am as a person, and my cutesy lifestyle and everything like that. So da -da -da -da! here is my beautiful, beautiful new baby. I am so happy with it. I actually got emotional. Um, when I saw it kind of all finished and everything. It is so cute. So you can see they are conversation hearts. Sorry if my voice gets shaky. I'm like talking a lot and I just had this tattoo done. So I'm like, oh, my adrenaline's still kind of pumping through my body. But um, I had her do conversation hearts and they just say so long, stay strong, stay true and be you. And of course the be you one is pink. That wasn't very, very much intentional. Um, and then there are some little sparkles like my other tattoos, so it kind of blended together. But the placement is beautiful. Let's see if I can flip you guys around here and show you kind of the placement. I love it. Sorry again if I'm showing too much bra, but it's kind of impossible not to. Um, it's beautiful. I love the placement of it. It makes my torso kind of look elongated, which is really cool because I'm really short. I'm only five foot, so... Um, the placement, as far as the placement goes, I intentionally had her put it right below my bra line so that whenever I wear swimsuits or bras or anything like that, it is still completely visible. Um, I did have her do it a little bit lower than where I would wear, naturally wear my pants, but that's okay because if I wear a swimsuit or something, I'll just like have that down a little bit, which I usually do anyway, um, but I love it. Um, this one didn't bleed or isn't weeping near as bad as my leg tattoos. Let me flip you guys around so I can finish talking to you. But I think the majority reason behind that is my legs are my legs. So it's like I have all of my body weight like on my legs. So there's more blood flow. There's more pressure there. Everything like that. Whereas um, the side is... It's a little bit thinner skin because it is like on the ribs, so there's not as much fat right there. Whereas my legs, they're a little bit, they're my thick little thunder thighs here. So there's a bit of fat for the ink to kind of seep into. And that's why it kind of secretes quite a bit or leaks quite a bit because my body is rejecting some of the ink, which is totally normal, totally natural. Again, I'm not going to talk too much about the weeping and the healing process because... That's old news. I already talked about that. Uh, watch the other video for more information and advice and all of that stuff. So um, my leg tattoo, uh, as far as pain levels of these two um, time, as like as long as they took, and um, I guess those are the two things that I'll touch base on. My leg felt pretty much the same as my other one. The only difference is, like I said, it's 
a little bit bigger, so it did take kind of an excessive amount more time than my Marie did. My Marie took about an hour and a half. It didn't take that long at all. And I think my Lady and the Tramp one, because there was two characters, it was more detailed and there were more colors um, because you had to incorporate the colors from the dogs and they had to be shaded and colored. Whereas Marie, you guys know, she just left my skin color and shaded her. She didn't fill her in all white because as mentioned in the other video, white does tend to fade the quickest, so it's kind of pointless to put it on there. Um, oh yeah, and I was going to talk price too. Um, uh, I did want to talk about time though. So I started my Lady and the Tramp at roughly 12.30 in the afternoon, and it got finished at roughly 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So it took about two and a half hours um, to do that. And then my side, um, we started at 11.30 in the morning, and we finished at about 1.45, so 11.30, 12.30, 1.30, about 2 hours and 15 minutes, roughly. There was some time in between that, though, because she did want to um, put on some numbing medication on it. Um, not because specifically of the pain, but because she wanted to numb me up and put some sort of ointment on there to see if the colors were going to be solid enough um, to see if they took. So she had me sit for about 15-20 minutes with the numbing medication on my side, and then she took it off, touched up a few spots to make sure that the hearts were solid colors, and then we finished it off. So subtracting like the 20 minutes from um, whatever, from the numbing, it took about two hours, roughly. So, I spent about four and a half hours getting tattooed, uh, two separate days. I got the side one done today, got the other one done yesterday. Um, as for prices, my Lady and the Tramp was $350, so $350, and my side piece was $250, so $250. Um, but, as I always say, good tattoos aren't cheap, and cheap tattoos aren't good. You pay for quality. Um, obviously, that's why I had her flown up here, because I wanted it done good. I wanted it done well. I wanted it done very sanitary, sanitarily, sanitized. I I wanted it, like, done safely and healthily and safe and sanitized and all that good stuff. She's very professional with what she does, um, because we did hotel... Uh, uh, tattoo in a hotel and we did tattoo in my room which you guys saw um, the reason we did that is because hotel checkout was at 11 a.m. but her flight didn't actually leave until 6 p.m. so we didn't even have to get her to the airport until like 4 30 so um, we had all this open time after she would check out and she didn't want to have to pay for a whole other night and I didn't want to have to pay for her to stay a whole other night when she's not actually staying a whole other night. Does that make sense? To stay four hours longer than checkout time. So we just went and got her from the hotel and brought her back here. She set up real fast, like 10-15 minutes tops, and we got tattooing just in my room. Uh, my mom did also get two tattoos. She got her eyebrows tattooed, not microbladed, just tattooed, and she got a butterfly on her ankle. Um, I don't know if she wants me to insert photos or anything like that. So when she was here, she did four tattoos. Um, mine were a little bit larger, obviously, though, and my mom's didn't take that long at all. I think her butterfly barely took an hour, and then her eyebrows... It, it took longer to map the eyebrows out and, like, draw them on with the stencils and everything than it did to actually sit there and have them done. Um, but she got both the those done while she was here, and overall, it was a very pleasant experience. I'm kind of sad that Snot had to leave because it's like, we were just, like, starting to get to know each other and hang out and become friends, and it's like... Uh, she has to go now, so she does want to come up here again. Um, I don't know if she's going to be um, coming up here for tattoos or just for vacation or to hang out or visit or whatever, but um, yeah, so we'll see how that goes. We'll see where the road leads us. I do want more tattoos in the future, but for now, for now I'm satisfied. Um, mainly because my bank account is not satisfied, um, after, you know, flying her up here and everything. But it was worth it. It was really worth it. I've been wanting this side piece tattoo forever. And you guys knew instantly after I got my Marie tattoo, I wanted a lady 
from Lady on the Tramp on the other thigh, but she actually posted, um, like a design of Lady and the Tramp, the little kissing scene or whatever. She posted that on her snap, uh, on her Instagram story, not her snap story. And I claimed it immediately. I saw it and I said, no, you can't have Lady without Tramp. I need it. So that's how this little baby was born. It's so pretty. I just love her detail work. I don't even know if you guys can see, like, I'll try to zoom in a little bit. I don't know if you guys can even see, like, the true detail in this and how thin she got the lines on his eyes and the colors are so accurate to the cartoon of course it's a little like dark right now or like blackened right now because it's still weeping and everything but obviously that'll go away um so yeah it is beautiful i'm so happy thank you so so much sanai again for coming up here hanging out with me and putting ink in my body <laughs> That sounds so weird, but, um, no, it was really cool, and this tattoo is really special. I, I was kind of talking to her while I was getting it done and asking her if she's ever had her clients get emotional after they get their tattoo right when they see it because it's so perfect and so beautiful and special, and she said that, yeah, she's had that happen quite a lot, and that's something so special to have is to be able to make people smile or to make their day or their life or, you know, just brighten up whatever dark things that are going on in their life just like being able to create something and put it out there and make someone feel something from it is so moving and that's why I was talking to her about how my side tattoo is so important to me because I talk about you know stay true be you I live that all the time and I've preached that for as long as I can remember with my channel and it's literally everything to me like my heart my soul it's everything and it, it's really amazing to be able to put out content or put out advice or put out videos or whatever it is it could just be a silly little dollar tree haul or something and to make someone smile for five ten minutes out of their day if they were having a miserable day or a rough day at work or they were bullied at school to just come to my channel and have an escape it's so meaningful and powerful to me, and I really wanted to stamp that on my body and have it with me for the rest of my life. Um, and if you are someone who are against, who is against tattoos or you don't like them, that's great. That's cool. Um, I love them. I think they are beautiful, and when you get them, when they have meaning behind them, they're so powerful and just so... I love them so much. So if you're someone who is easily offended by tattoos, I don't know why you'd click on this video in the beginning, but um, feel free to click out whenever, even though you've already watched this far. I'll probably put a little disclaimer at the beginning anyway. I know not tattoos aren't for everyone, and I just ask that you please show your respect in the comments. Um, if you think it's ugly, if you think it turned out bad, keep it to yourself. That's just your opinion. I'm happy with it. It's on my body, not yours. So ultimately, that's what truly matters, is if I'm content with what was put on my body for the rest of my life. But anyway, yeah, I really enjoyed my time this weekend. It went by so fast, but it is Sunday. It is Mother's Day, so I'm going to go spend time with my mama and my family. And again, if you want to know any... Oh, pain levels. Pain levels. Oh my gosh. Sorry. Pain level. Uh, I say this little disclaimer in all of my tattoo videos. Pain all depends on the person. If you are someone who usually has a higher pain to tolerance and needles don't bother you and piercings don't bother you or things like that and you're pretty good when it comes to pain, um, tattoos are pretty easy if you've never had one before. But um, my tattoo pain tolerance is really high. So my leg on a scale from 1 to 10, it was probably a four, maybe a five tops. Uh, I have three tattoo stages that I go through, and I think everyone goes through this, but they're, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but um, the first stage is the first 10 minutes is just usually the worst, because you just feel the initial pain, and then your body, your adrenaline starts pumping, and then you kind of start feeling numb in a way. I'm not saying like it feels as if they put numbing cream on. It's just like your body becomes used to the feeling that's happening. 
and it's more of an annoying pain than a painful pain, if that makes any sense. It's kind of just like you just hear the buzzing of the needles and that's about it. Um, so that is stage two. And then stage three is when you just want it to be over with. Like you're just sick of laying in the chair and it starts to hurt just a little bit again because the skin is starting to get tender because it's been messed with a lot throughout the session. And at the very end, you're just like, can we just be done? Like, I'm done sitting here. This is taking up too much time. I am over this. And usually right when I start feeling stage three is when it's done, when it's over with. So the longest I've had to sit for a tattoo was about two and a half hours, roughly one time. So I haven't had like a five, seven hour session like some people have had, but um, she did like do the outline. Let me get up, walk around, get some water, just stretch my legs a little bit and then get lay back down and get it all done again. So I wasn't like miserable laying there at all. Um, as far as my ribs go, uh, you guys know I do have the tattoo behind my ear. This was my post most painful tattoo, but the reason it was my most painful tattoo is because when I originally got it done, my brother-in-law was the one who done it and it was his first tattoo he'd ever done. So he went too deep when he was doing the needles. And that's why in the original tattoo, um, I had Sanai touch this up when I went down to California in September when she did my Marie. So it doesn't look the same way it did. I had it just a basic heart outline, but the black was really faded and like blown out. And the reason it did that is because he went too deep with the needle and it was his first tattoo. So I knew it was probably gonna get messed up. That's why I put it behind my ear where I'm never gonna see it. So it's like, whatever, I didn't mind. But um, I did have her touch it up when I went down to California um, that one was painful the first time I had it done, but it healed super fast because it was so small. Um, so the actual pain of getting the tattoo was probably a seven or eight for me. And that's pretty high on my scale because like I said, I'm pretty tolerant when it comes to tattoos and piercings and stuff. Um, but when I had it touched up, when I went down to California, it was like nothing because she didn't put the needle in too deep. She's been tattooing for like 10 years, nine years, something like that, almost a decade. So she was very much more familiar with the process and everything than my brother-in-law was. So she kind of touched it up and fixed it a little bit when I went down there. But as for my ribs, uh, the lower half, like the lower two hearts is where she started. She started on the bottom and kind of worked up. And the lower half was probably a four, five, like my leg. And then once she started getting up higher towards where the actual like ribs were, um, that was probably an eight. I, I squirmed a little bit when she hit like a certain spot. Um, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be just for the simple fact that I expected to be ticklish when she did it. And once I was in the actual process of being tattooed and I was I'm getting familiar with the feeling of it right there. Um, my ticklish nerves just disappeared. Like I did not, we had like a couple jokes aside, um, jokes when we were doing it back and forth and I had to stop to giggle at the jokes that were being made, but um, just in the conversation that we were having. But other than that, I didn't have to stop and have her pick up the needle because I was ticklish or anything. So it turned out really beautiful. I am so happy with both of them. They are so detailed and her work is gorgeous. Um, if you guys do live in California, um, I can put uh, her Instagram below and you guys can go to her Instagram and she has her shop name and email there. So if you ever wanna book with her, um, you can contact her through email. Excuse me, hold on. I would like one of those weird little hiccup burp things. Sorry about that. Um, but she does beautiful work and I wouldn't have flown her up here if I didn't think she wasn't a really good artist. And I, feel, I think a lot of you who had seen my tattoo video or quite a few people had actually gone and gotten tattooed from her because they didn't know about her or they didn't know who she was. Um, and after they saw my video, they saw, oh, she does a really good job. And then they checked her out and then they actually went and got tattooed by her. And I have people commenting on like my tattoo post saying, thank you so much for introducing to her because her work is beautiful. It was worth it, 100%. I'm glad she made it up here safe and hopefully she'll make it home safe as well. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog. 
I hope you all enjoyed it. If you would like to see a full video on my ribs, I don't really know what else I could talk about with it. Um, I kind of just talked about everything here. The healing process is the same as my leg is going to be as it was the first time. So, uh, yeah, go check out my other videos if you want to know any other information. And my camera battery is flashing at me. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. And I'm going to end it with my quote. Okay, that was like a total boob shot, but with my quote, um, so long, stay, so long, stay strong, stay, stay true, and be you. you. Bye! <laughs>